Hello everyone, this is a new topic in unit 4 that is support vector machine algorithm. Support vector machine algorithm is also called as SVM. Okay, it is a one of the most popular supervised learning algorithm which is used for classification as well as regression problems. Okay, however, primarily it is used for classification problems in machine learning. This support vector machine algorithm is used for classification as well as regression problem but primarily it is used only for classification problems in machine learning. It is one of the most popular supervised learning algorithm. The goal of SVM algorithm is to create the best line or decision boundary that can segregate n dimensional spaces into classes that means it, it converts the uh, n dimensions into the classes best line it's to its uh, main goal is to create the best line or decision boundary that can segregate that means it can separate the lines from the n dimensional space into classes so that we can easily put the new data point in the correct category in the future this best decision boundary is called hyperplane okay let's see how svm chooses the extreme points or vectors that help in creating the hyperline hyperline in the sense best line this is the best decision boundary is called hyperline these extreme cases are called as support vectors and hence algorithm is termed as support vector machine these extreme cases are called as support vectors to for what to estimate points or vectors that help in creating the hyperline hyperline in the sense that is uh, differentiates between the n dimensions and the classes Consider the below diagram in which there are two different categories that are classified using a decision boundary or hyperplane. Let's see here the middle line is a ma maximum margin. We are going to separate this yellow or uh, sorry green and a blue different classes. See this green and uh, this blue data is called as support vectors these are support vectors and in the left side the line is called as negative hyperline and the right side line is called as positive hyperline in middle one this is called as maximum margin hyperline hyperplane okay and the dotted lines is called maximum margin the exact middle line is called maximum hyperplane okay we have two data sets that is x1 and x2 next let's see an example svm can be understood with that example that we can used in the knn classifier suppose we see a, we see a stranger cat that also has some features of dogs we have seen a cat but it has some features of dog also so if we want to want a model that can accurately identify whether it is a cat or dog so such a model can be created by using the SVM algorithm. That means we are classifying the, the features of a cat on dog in one stage only by differencing the each module. Okay. First we will train our model with lots of images of cats and dog so that it can learn about different features of cats and dog. And then we test it with a strange creature. Okay. So as support vector creates a decision boundary between these two data that is cat and dog and choose extreme cases support vectors it will see the extreme case of cat and dog. Let's see how here on the basis of support vectors it will classify it as a cat consider the below example that is we have post uh, past labeled data cat and dog we have given after training the model it will predict the uh, new data that will uh, that is we have given the cat image for this then it will give an output whether it is a cat or a dog okay svm algorithm can be used for face detection image classification text categorization etc